and the leader in us, if you like. Let's see our sponsors. We are live every Thursday. So let's take a quick message from our sponsors and we shall be right back. Are you looking for an excellent professional risk management and training solutions provider? Look no further. Your ultimate solution provider is here at V5 Solutions Limited. We support you with our professional skills in building capacity of your teams and managing all your operational risks. Our best both solutions include private and corporate security risk management and training, fraud investigation, occupational safety and health management and training, project monitoring, evaluation and research, supply of private security, logistics equipment. Our solutions are professionally delivered with in-depth focus on people, processes and procedures, the environment and ultra-modern technology. Contact us now on 303 957136 and 053 517 or send us an email at info at v5 for a partnership that strengthens a company for an excellent sustainable productivity and profitability. Visit our website at www.v5solutionslimited.com for more details. V5 Solutions Limited, your ultimate professional risk management and training hub. on my honor to be a better leader every day faithful and loyal to my country organization and fellow team members countrymen and women I pledge myself to remain true to the core values of integrity and self-discipline through my daily choices and actions my mind is alert focused at all times I shall show respect to everyone always and every time I remain a better leader and team player always. So I pledge. Welcome back and once again, good afternoon from the studios of Metro TV here in Accra, the west coast of Africa. We are live on DSTV channel 277 and live on Facebook as Metro TV Ghana. This is the Leadership 360 conversation every Thursday. Today, we're going to look at the leader in us, or if you like, the leader in you. Within each and every one of us lies the potential to be great leaders. We all have some qualities or some capabilities in us that can make us great leaders. But the question is, are we aware of such qualities? Are we aware of our potentials? Even as team members, are we conscious of what we can contribute to the betterment of our organizations, our communities, and our countries, and even a continent at large? Today, that's going to be the basis or the focus of our conversation. Since the inception of 2024, our focus has been on leadership skill development. We first of all look at the, the trends that are informing the 2024 you know, a period in our lives, the life, our individual lives, and the lives of our nation or our continent at large. We spoke about te technological trends where generative AI is what is, you know, informing or transforming the space that we are operating in or we are inhabiting. We also spoke about the global economic, you know, um, the difficulties or the challenges. We also mentioned social and political, you know, upheavals here and there. And we also indicated that within this period, emotional intelligence and change management skills are key to success. We also indeed mentioned how individually we need to look within ourselves to be able to harness our skills. So today, let's quickly start the conversation by mentioning the fact that, you know, 
as I said, each and every one of us has some potential that can make us great leaders. But as I said last week, when we were looking at personal leadership skills development, that you need to look within. You need to conduct some, you know, personal scrutiny, personal, you know, explore within yourself what capabilities you have, what weaknesses you have, and how you can harness those strengths and improve on the weaknesses. So when we said so, we used the SOA model where we indicated that we need to assess our own strength, focus on our, the opportunities available to us, and then the aspirations we have and the results that we anticipate to have or we anticipate to you know, achieve. And by so doing, we said we must also look at what the leadership skills mean. When we say leadership skills, what they mean, and then what it is that one can be able to demonstrate or display when you are in a leadership position or you are, in, you are as a team member, you are contributing your quota. We mentioned such qualities or you know, uh, skills as being humble, leading by example, being competent, and so on and so forth, ability to empower people and all that. But today, we're going to extend the conversation by looking at if those actions or how do we, or how do our actions inform us or, you know, teach us that indeed we are on course or we are not on course? And why it is important that we must believe that we all have some potential of leadership in us or qualities that can make us great leaders. So let's quickly look at the fact that if our actions, as said by uh, Adams Quincy, that look, if your actions can inspire others to do more, to achieve more, and to hope for more, then you are a leader. The question here I want to pose to all of us as cherished viewers and listeners is, how are your actions inspiring people? Are they motivating people to do more, to yearn for more, to explore more, or to achieve more? Or your actions are rather discouraging people, or you know, demoralizing people, in doing what they have to do. If that is the case, then you must know that there is a problem. But if your actions encourage people to do more, then you are in the leadership business. If you are indeed in the leadership business, then you need to remind yourself of what we spoke about last week, the process that one needs to go through to develop a plan, a plan that will enhance your, or to unearth, your leadership capability. That is, first of all, you must define what great looks like. I'll run through it quickly because last week we, we, we took ourselves through that process where we say you must define what great looks like. What kind of, you know, how, how, what great leadership looks like to you? What do you anticipate? How, what do you cherish when it comes to leadership? Or when you, you think of leaders, what are the qualities that come to your mind? Those are the things you want to ask yourself. Do I possess those skills? Do I, those skills that those great leaders possess, do they resonate with me? Am I interested in those skills? That will give you an idea about how you're going to, you know, progress. So that is, by so doing, you are assessing your own capability and ability to lead. And once you assess yourself, you will get to know that indeed I have the potential to lead people. You are a team member, but all the time when you are given responsibility, you often shy away and say, oh, I, I don't have what it takes to, to embark on that, you know, or undertake that responsibility. But within you, I am here this afternoon to tell you that all of us have a potential to lead and lead excellently. Yours is to examine yourself, look within yourself, and assess and see the qualities that you have within you. What core values do you subscribe to? You, every one of us has values. We all have values that, you know, we cherish. You need to ask yourself and jot it down. And write it down. Write it and reflect on it deeply and ask yourself, are these values very, you know, core to my personal uh, actions at any point in time? You need to jot them down. That will enable you to see 
how you tailor those actions or how you employ those actions to your benefit towards the great leadership that you want or you want to unearth the leadership skill or the potential you have in, within you. As you write these things down, mind you, you have already determined, you have a, a mental picture of what great leadership looks like or what great leaders look like. And you want to write down your vision statement. What do you want to achieve? Within a, a committee, within a team, within the organization, within your community, what are the things that you aspire to see? What are the changes that you feel when affected will transform the development or the level of development within your community, within your organization, the productivity level and all that. Those are the things you want to draw down as a person so that when you have the opportunity to lead or when you go for that leadership role, you will be able to excel and excel very, very well. You also have to analyze feedback, what people say about you. What are the things that people give you? Do they tell you, oh, yeah, you, you do great. When you are given a task, you execute it excellently. Or you come across as a very welcoming person, a very nice person, a very inviting person. You have a spirit of teamwork. What are the feedback you are getting from your you know, um, networks or the people very close to you? What are they telling you? That should also indicate to you whether indeed you have a quality, a potential to lead and lead excellently. In fact, Whatever it is that we do at any point in time, we must know that leadership, as we are talking about, is not only for other people. You must also understand that as you assess yourself, as you go through this assessment to identify the potential you have, you're going to apply it to your own life. Because it is said that if you want or the great road to great leadership or the most fastest or the smoothest road to Great leadership is self-leadership. If you cannot lead other people, if you cannot lead yourself. So all these things that you're going to identify will aid you in leading yourself. The discipline we spoke about last week, you can only discipline yourself if you know what it is that you have within you. Do you have capability to control your own actions or behavior at any point in time? Or do you need somebody to keep prompting you at all times? Your ability to identify all this will, will get you in there. What are you lacking? What are the things? Like I said, if you are, you are agreed that somebody will give you an idea about what you are lacking, then you want to work on those things. Working on them means that you will be able to tell if you, you improve upon those you know, shortfalls or not. They are, they are challenging times for everybody. But I always say, that under the sun, there is nothing impossible. If and only if you put your mind to it and you are committed to it, you can, you know, achieve it. So it is very important that we know within us lies qualities. Now, what all this we are talking about relates to, you know, three core things or some few reasons why we need to do that. The three main things we're talking about can best be described as leadership competencies. So these competencies are classified into three. We're talking about competency in leading yourself, competency in leading others, and competency in leading an organization or a business or a nation. Why are all these? We'll get to that. But when we talk about leading yourself, competency in leading yourself, you must be flexible. You must assess yourself. Within you, you are the only, you know, check on your own self. Nobody else can check you apart from yourself. So you need to have a flexible mindset to appreciate the fact that I am human. I can make mistakes. People need to give me feedback. And I must listen. I must be able to apply those things that I, I want others to do to my own self and see how it feels like. You cannot tell people to behave in a certain way if you are in leadership position and you behave differently. No, it doesn't work like that. And you, you must have knowledge. You must have knowledge. You cannot lead people in a committee or a team to undertake a task if you don't have the know-how or if you don't know what it is that you are doing. You must have some expertise at least to inform you about what exactly is to be done. 
Otherwise, you'll be seen as a non-competent or incompetent leader. Leaders who do not have a very excellent organizational behavior where they, they, they behave anyhow, they are corrupt, they are, you know, insensitive to the, the needs of their organizations or their own communities and all that, means that leading themselves, they have problem with leading themselves. They must be, or you and I must be able to apply, you know, skills that control our own behavior, skills that enable us to achieve more so that we can lead others. So if you don't have competency in leading yourself, it's about time you look within you and make some or effect some changes here and there. Within you lies the capability to effect those changes and achieve positive results. And the other one is competency in leading others. As indicated somehow in my earlier submission, if you want to lead people, you must appreciate their needs. You must appreciate what it is that they want. You must appreciate how you relate to them. Your relationship with people that you want to lead are very key to your ability to lead. If you have within you capability to lead people, what it means is that you have good interpersonal skills, you are able to have a great or high level of emotional intelligence, you have empathy, you have what it takes to appreciate what others are going through, and you, you feel, you apply it to yourself and say that, okay, assuming I am the one going through the same, how will it come across to me? These are things that you need to embed in yourself or inject into yourself to know that indeed, Leading others is not just about you. It's about their needs as well. It's about how you relate to people, how you talk to people, how you communicate with people. Some of us, for example, there are, we, are, we are leaders within our teams. We do not appreciate the fact that when you are a leader, you need to listen more. In fact, when, one of the key things that we must always keep at the back of our mind is to listen more and talk less. Leaders who talk more and do not listen more or listen less, they are bound to have challenges. Because when you listen more, you are able to pick feedback. You are, you are able to pick some pointers to your own mistakes or to your own shortfalls and quickly work on them. But if you are in the business of talking more, even when people want to give you feedback, you, you, you stand to, to fail. And if you, 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 you are in the business of, or you are interested, or you look within you, and you are interested in leading others, you must know that you must involve everybody, including everybody in the conversation, including everybody along the line in the decision-making process, encouraging people, you know, demonstrating that indeed you have trust in them. All this will inure to your benefit. And you must also understand that if you are a leader, one of the things that lie within you is coaching ability. You must be able to coach others. You must be able to teach. You must be able to demonstrate to people what it is that you are talking about. These are, for, for, for so far, the two key competencies that we should you know, embrace or we should look within ourselves to explore or to exhibit any time we want to lead or we are in a leadership position or we are even part of a team. Then the last one has to do with competency in leading organizations or businesses. What, are the, what is the business about? Do you have knowledge about the industry? Do you have knowledge about the community? Do you have knowledge about the, the needs of, you know, or the aims and purposes or the mission, vision of the organization? Are you conscious of that? It must, you know, play in your mind at all times. You must have those social skills, you must have ability to solve problems. You must, conflicts will arise regardless of, you know, uh, the team. Whether uh, you are well knitted together as a team or not, conflicts are bound to happen. Leaders solve problems. They solve conflicts. They manage conflicts. They also have skills. They must have skills, social skills to relate to all stakeholders. In a typical business uh, venture or organization. The stakeholders run from the board to the executive and to the staff. How do you relate to all this in your effort at, you know, performing or achieving higher productivity as a leader? You must have those social skills.
to relate to people. Then you must be able to sell or to, 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 to preach about or to communicate a very compelling vision that everybody will buy into. An enduring vision that would, would you know, stand the test of time. A vision that everybody will see and feel that indeed is taking us or is taking the team to that space where you know there will be joy, there will be you know success, there will be excitement. So if you you are not you know capable to do in doing so, or you are not in a position to do so, then it's a challenge you have to throw to yourself to learn to do it and do it better. So far, we talking about the fact that leadership, there are competences that you must look for within yourself. Ability to lead yourself, ability to lead others, and ability to lead, you know, a company or an organization. That is what you have to look for within you. Do you have the knowledge? Do you have the understanding? Do you have the skill in managing people, in managing conflicts, in relating to people? Do you have the emotional intelligence to appreciate what people are going through at any point in time? Yes, indeed, it is something you must be intentional about. If you are intentional about your pursuit of leadership skills, you would definitely find one within yourself and you apply them. Now, why are we talking about all this? Why are all these things important to us? It is because when we possess these skills, when we are able to lead ourselves, we, should, we will be able to impact our communities. We will be able to impact our organization. We will be able to impact our you know, own selves positively. It will promote our own growth. It will lead us to a stage where you'll be able to you know, confidently point to yourself that indeed, I have what it takes to do more, to even do more. And others will also see that, whoa, this is great leadership, and I can also do the same. You are going to help others within your community, others within your country, others within your space, even within your family, to see that indeed, when I explore, or if I am to explore certain or employ certain skills in leading people or in executing or leading my own self, I should be able to achieve more. That is why all these are important. Now, organizational performance rises when the leader is able to lead himself and lead others and be able to lead the entire organization. There is no way a leader who exhibits quality, excellent qualities or positive qualities of great leadership will not succeed. Because, of course, nobody is perfect. But if you look within yourself and you identify your own weaknesses, you are able to tell that, indeed, I have what it takes or I do not have what it takes to lead. And then you make changes as you go along. Before we continue the conversation, let me quickly also state that in all this, one of the key skills that is very important for all of us to look within ourselves and apply or to, to gain knowledge in or to, to be able to embrace is technological competence. Technology is something driving our space today. You cannot sit in the corner and say you are not bothered about it. You may not be so competent, you may not be so competent in leading people for, for real, but you must know that as situations change, you must change accordingly. Before we continue, where we're going to look at a bit of data literacy as we spoke about last week, let's take our first breather and when we are back, we'll continue the conversation. We have dealt with the leadership in you. The leadership in you requires you to do self-examination to identify that potential you have, those skills that you have that can enable you to lead and lead excellently. Before the breather, I was talking about technological you know, advancement that leaders, we as leaders, while you examine yourself to see the potentials you have, you must also appreciate the fact that technology comes handy when it comes to leading people. And technology has you know, certain offers that all of us, when we embrace, we can, you know, perform better as leaders. And some of these, you know, offers include a platform to learn quickly and continuously learn to improve on our leadership skills because today, by a click of a button, you have a whole 
you know, array of information available to you that you can access to know what is happening on the leadership space or the other side of the world and how you can apply those, you know, skills or that knowledge to your own leadership skills. Again, technology comes handy when it comes to, you know, scientific research or processing data to make meaning out of happenings within your space. So leaders must, you know, um, have their minds around this technological advancement. Talk about generative AI, where we all talk about artificial intelligence here and there. How can you positively deploy or employ these technological platforms to, you know, promote your own leadership skills? All these things offer platform for all of us to, to go through. Now, we are going to continue the conversation, but I want all of us, because today is the, leaders, the leader in you. We all know what qualities we have here and there. So I want us to participate as early as possible while, so we can have a meaningful conversation and a very enjoyable one today. The phone lines are now open, 0531 982298. If you are outside the shores of Ghana, just add plus 233 and you will reach us. You can equally send a WhatsApp and it shall be read on the platform. Indeed, the leadership 360 conversation is live every Thursday and we are live today on Facebook, Metro TV Ghana and you can tell a friend to tell a friend and let's have a conversation. We are also live on DSTV channel 277. It's a pleasure having you this afternoon as we continue the conversation on the leader in you. As we explore all these, you know, ways of improving on our own leadership skills, we, I have mentioned earlier that one of the qualities that leaders, great leaders exhibit is ability to coach, ability to empower other leaders. So in line with that, Leadership 360 is mobilizing, is launching a campaign to, you know, get books, to, to, to have books donated from you so we can use it to, you know, beef up the learning process or the education of our younger ones in the northern part of Ghana. There are some deprived schools in the northern part of Ghana and we are hoping that we should be able to mobilize 50,000 you know, assorted test books, exercise books, and other writing materials, mathematical sets, pencils, pen, what have you. Any amounts you have, any quantity you have, just bring it to us and we shall, we shall donate to the communities in March in our independence. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Leadership 360. Thank you very much. I just want to say a very big thank you to you. I mean, I'm enjoying your program, and mm -hmm. I love what you said about leaders allowing feedback to be given to us. And I just want to say that this is a very good and educative program, and keep it up, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the encouragement. Um, together, we can all do a lot. Like Obama said, yes, we can. And we believe on the Leadership 360 that when all of us put our shoulders to the wheel, we can achieve more. So we again, let me reiterate the fact that we call all, we are calling on all of us to make donation books, textbooks from primary school, DHS, junior high, senior high, textbooks you have, if whatever quantity, please bring it to us and we shall make donation in our independence month of March in the northern part of Ghana. Indeed, leadership is so broad, we continue to examine all aspects every week in, week out. The conversation continues in your homes, in your workplaces. Let's continue to explore the things, the very things that will lead us to, you know, sustainable development of our communities and our country at large. Today, I also want to bring up the point that one of the key things as, which is in us that we need to explore to to, to be able to deploy as leaders in our leadership roles is effective communication. Communication comes in different forms. It's not only about speaking to people. It's not just speaking. Before we continue, Adukwe, good afternoon. 
Afternoon, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine. Welcome to Leadership 360. Oh, thank you. I'm very, very enjoying your program. And then, like you said, every leader has to set an example. The nation, you are there to serve us. We put you in office. But later, we don't see nothing at all from them. So what kind of leader are they giving to us? What example are they showing? A lot of people are suffering in town. They have to do the right thing for all of us. Then when you are contributing something, you know that it's right for your duty to do so. So please, thank you for the hard work you're doing. And your program is encouraging. And uh, it educates a lot of people. I'm one of them. Thank you very much. And next time I'll try to see if I have some things I'll call and then I get to a direction where I have to deliver them to. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All donations can be brought to the premises of Metro TV at Reach near Alisa Hotel. So all your donations of books are welcome in the studios of Metro TV. Thanks for the feedback as well. We on the Leadership 360 program deems it fit that we need to contribute our quota to changing mindsets about leadership for the betterment of our communities. It is our duty and responsibility to do so, both at individual levels and at the team levels, to be able to impact our space positively. It is said that we should all be the change we want to see. We are trying to effect that change. And with you in our boats, we believe that we will make a great uh, impact. Now, I was, I was talking about communication, but before we continue, Elijah from Volta Region, good afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, thank you for your, your program. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Um, what I have to say in the, uh, leadership is that, what's the meaning of the leadership? Because uh, I don't get it in Ghana here. Because those who say they are leader, they didn't educate themselves to us that they are leader. They just do things in whatever. And then they are putting us in the trouble. Bible is against that. When they are leader, it's not that they're supposed to go and do certain things and put your people in trouble. When you are not a leader, you are putting them in the trouble. So I, 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 don't, I, I don't get it in Ghana here. I don't get it. See that we are using money to buy the leadership for is God is the one who selects us. To me, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, that is why, thank you for, for, for but to allay your fears, that is why the Leadership Tricity Program is here. So that we can have a conversation to be able to, you know, appreciate what good looks like and what great looks like when it comes to leadership. Leadership is said that sometimes they, a lot of people say the leaders are as good as the followers. But we say that when leaders accept the fact that leadership is not about position, it's about ability to you know, identify various talents or different capabilities within the diverse, you know, group of people they have within their team and harness those skills towards the betterment of the lives of even the team members, not because they are in charge, they act authoritatively. Then things will be better for all of us. That will also mean that the followers will appreciate that indeed we are all in the boat and we need to shape our destiny together. So this program we are hoping and believing that as we continue to have this discourse, we will all know that we have a role to play as well in shaping the behavior of our leaders. And those who lead us are just like us, and we can make them do the things we want. And that's why we say, within you, you have the potential to lead one day. Do you have what it takes to, to, to behave well or to act well, to to Prove that indeed, when you are in charge, you, should be, you will be able to execute the assignment very well, or you are going to toe the same lines. These are some of the reasons why we deem it fit to come up with this program so that 
mindsets will change, behavior will change, and actions will change for all of us as team members and as leaders as well. So spread that message to others. Let's all learn. Let's, you know, unlearn and relearn so that we can accelerate the process. So in line with this, I say leaders' communication also play a role in, you know, ability to lead very well and have support from their team members. Ability to lead others, lead himself, and lead organization or nation. Why are these important? Again, we have a caller on the line. Meriga from Bulga, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Leadership 360. Okay. Please, you can see a man back at home. You see, he's a very fine gentleman. Everybody is being respected. But at the end of the day, when he comes to get a position, the way the one man of people are looking at him will not be the same. It tends to be something different. Why is this? So this is my question. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. The, the reality we face today in our world is that there's, there has not been intentionality to grooming our leaders. Our leaders are not intentionally groomed as we find in other parts of the world. Where right from childhood, they are, taking, they are taking through the rudiments of leadership. So they appreciate the fact that the leadership thing is not about position. It is not about your personality. It is about the people. It's about the community. It's about the organization. It's about the betterment of people. So they are humbled in their nature. They come across with a certain attitude that is, you know, respectable, that is development-oriented, that is, you know, re respectful, that pays respect to the team members. But unfortunately, we have observed that in our part of the world or the continent of Africa, largely speaking, leadership is seen from a position perspective or title perspective, depending on where the individual stands or status in society, then we feel this person must occupy position. I have said elsewhere on a different platform that, look, we, our own behavior as people, contribute to the behavior of some of these leaders. Joseph, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Leadership Resisting. I'm loving your program, seriously. Thank you. Please, I want to know, how should a leader respond to a followers when they ask questions? Should they always rebuke them, even if the question is good or not? Thank you. That is one of the things I was going to talk about. Now, I said that leaders must listen more and talk less. So when a question is asked, regardless of whether the question appears, excuse me to say, uh, stupid or foolish in the mind of the leader, the leader must have emotional intelligence to be able to appreciate the feeling that the other person will feel when he or she is rebuked. So the, the approach to answering that question must be determined by how humble, how emotional intelligent or emotionally intelligent the, the, the leader is. Every question is important. If you have a, a growth mindset, as we call it on this program, if you have a growth mindset, you are open to all you know, ideas, whether you deem it foolish or not. It may prompt you. So leaders must appreciate the fact that, look, your points or your position may not ultimately be the, the best. Somebody's so-called foolish question can lead you to re-examining your own position to determine the challenges that you have and then iron those things out. So leaders must exercise patience, must be humble enough to tolerate all kinds of questions that are posed to them by their leaders. Leadership is not a child's play. When you have a mindset that has to do with, you know, authority that comes with leadership, or the, 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 the status, or the, the position, or the title, then you have a problem. You are quick to resort to asking questions like, do you know who I am? Do you know 
who you are talking to, if you begin to behave this way, then you know that you have challenges with your own leadership. So tolerance of leadership by leadership in answering questions from you know, team members is key to success. Now, when it comes to excuse me, when it comes to communication, one of the things that the, the body language is also it plays it plays a very key role in effective communication. How do you position your body? Do you lean back when people are talking to you? Are you doing will you do you are you always found doing something else even when serious discussions are taking place? You are communicating something. You are communicating to your team members that you are not interested in. It. Or do you find yourself in meetings and you are sleeping because you have finished delivering whatever and you are not interested in what the others are saying? These are communications you are sending, signals you are sending across. How is your facial expression? How do you brush people off? How do you, you have a stern look on your face at all times. No smile. You are not welcoming. How do you think people will come to you to ask you questions that will guide you? So by way of communication, it's not about just spelling out this ABC must be done. It comes from your own body language as well. In our African culture, we know there are different body language, uh, languages that we use to brush people off. When somebody is expressing something or saying something that you disagree with, we have our own way, body language, that we use to ward off those things. Somebody will be looking elsewhere. Even eye signals indicate to us whether we are listening or not. So the best for us to do is when somebody you are communicating with people, or people are telling you something, you need to pay keen attention. If you are sitting, you have to lean forward and listen to the person. It demonstrates to the person that you are interested in what you know, he or she is saying. You must have a smile on your face. Sometimes, even when you disagree to the extent that you're going to brush the person off, you still have to smile. Aku from Lashibi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And welcome to Leadership really, 360. Thank you very much. I'm really enjoying the program and I've learned a lot. I'm thank just you. wondering, how are you going to start from the basic school? Mm, this kind of leadership school should start from the basic school. Anyway. I'm wondering how it's yeah. Well, thank you very much. This, the Leadership 360 team has come up with a program called Lura Summit. And it has embedded in it community engagement. Last year, October, we had an engagement with uh, students, a cross-section of students from um, JHS to SHS and tertiary in Kumasi uh, Premier Assembly Hall. This coming March, we have another program where in Tamale, coming soon, by, by Third week of Tamale, uh, uh, third week of March, we're having Lura Summit in Tamale. These are the ways that we are looking at engaging people. But indeed, it is very, it will be good and very prudent for us to embed this leadership education into our curricula. Like we have the Boy Scouts or the Scout system some years back. Of course, I know some of these things are still ongoing, but there must be intentionality. It must be part and parcel of the syllabus so that we educate, or if you like, we need to intensify the civic education aspects of our, of our society, our governance system, so that up-and-coming students, younger ones who appreciate the fact that when you are in a leadership position, these are the ways you behave, these are the things you need to, to do. And as individuals, whether you are a parent or you are a sibling to a younger person, you must demonstrate to that person what leadership, great leadership looks like. You as parents at home, how do you help your children to know the rudiments of leadership, the challenges that are associated with leadership, and the right behaviors of leadership? Indeed, this is why we are saying that let's also donate books and educational materials so that our younger ones will read and learn about the better ways of, you know, the, the things happening around us and then the better ways of leading so that as they grow, they have the good qualities that will help them. We are discussing this afternoon has been 
being the leader in you. The leader in you comes with a certain honor. An honor that people will see and appreciate. So let's take a look at our leadership or listen to our leadership honor code. And then we shall be right back. and firm African. I will take a stand. I will lead and be the change. Come and take my hand. For the safety, Hana, and welfare of my country and company come first. Always and every time. The Hana, welfare and comfort of the people I lead come next. My own ease, comfort and safety come last, always and every time. Welcome back. Indeed, the leader in you requires you to place your own interests last. Let others have access to the goodies before you. That is what we advocate for on this program. It's been amazing having you, but Let's just recap the points that to be great leaders, we need to lead ourselves first. To unearth the potential in us, we must look within and lead ourselves. Then we lead others. Then we can talk about leading organizations. This is Leadership 360. It's been nice having you. Next week, we shall continue our conversation, the discourse on our leadership skill development for the betterment of our society. Remember, we, ha we are asking you to support us, donate 50,000 books, including textbooks, to our younger ones in northern parts of Ghana. Thank you very much, and let's have a beautiful day and weekend.